I mean, in general, what we do is we put forward hypotheses and then uh, we try to kill them, essentially. So you put forward a hypothesis and then you say, right, A, B and C fit this hypothesis. Can I find something else that doesn't? Because if it doesn't, then I have to start somewhere else. There are things in, in volcano seismology that we don't understand. So what we do is we put out instruments on the surface of the volcano and those instruments detect very small ground vibrations. And we record those signals and we see pulses and uh, tremors and shakes and so on. And our job is to try to say, what do those things tell us, those signals tell us about what's going on inside in the volcano? At a very basic level, it's we're just fundamentally curious about what's going on. Are there fluids moving from point A to point B? Is that what the signals represent? Or uh, is it gas? Is it magma that's on the move? What causes these signals? That's really the fundamental question. Uh, is the volcano just creaking? And these are the questions that we ask ourselves. What's actually causing the signals? In this particular field, there are lots of applications. So the primary application area is in a better understanding of the mechanism, which then leads to a better forecast for the eruption. So we always have an eye on how you can apply these results, but we don't start with that. We don't start from, we want to know how to forecast eruptions, to be quite honest. We start with, what, how does this thing work? And then eventually we go, right, so how, if we figure out how it works, how can that be applied? <laughs>